yin and yang for feng shui, the martial arts, and the I Ching. Polarized interpersonal relationships, an excerpt from part one, yin, yang, and the center. This is me. Yin and yang are the oars of my boat, and the center is wherever I find myself. But what about polarization between individuals and close relationships, like siblings, friends, co-workers, and love partners? How do I move from polarization with another to the center? After some years of marriage, I suddenly realized that I'm the untidy one compared to my husband. Why does it always end up this way? Suddenly I had this characteristic and he had the opposite. Not only that, but all the characteristics seem to be divided among us, like silly or serious, strong or weak, introverted or extroverted. I no longer had access to the characteristics that had been assigned to him, and he was unable to express the characteristics assigned to me. I realized I had half the potential characteristics, and I felt a bit stuck. I felt stuck on the yin pole of untidiness. How come I was always the untidy one? This problem had a distinct yin versus yang flavor. So I looked for the center. I looked for the center, a non-polarized place on a continuum between tidy and untidy. I understood that I'm not on an extreme pole of messiness, but somewhere in the middle and I can move either way, and this center travels with me wherever I go. And now here we are. I realize we're both on that continuum. We can each move anywhere along that line, and we both have access to a full range of human characteristics. After all, despite our labels, we're really quite compatible and more similar than different. Yin and yang are what you make of it. It's a comparison of difference, which can feel like a trap from the inside, but it's a useful tool from a greater perspective of yin, yang, and the center.